What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. In today's video, we'll be demonstrating how to change and manage watch faces on the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 series. And for reference, I'm using the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. Now in order to make changes to the watch face according to this tutorial, you're going to need the Galaxy wearable app. As for this video, it's featured on the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro playlist so you can find information related to this topic quickly and easily. And as always, we only feature products or services I buy, use, or am interested in. And you can find the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro and related items at the Amazon storefront link in the description below. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So here we are in the Galaxy wearable app and you can see my watch shows automatically. Now, if this isn't the case for you, you can find your watch by tapping on the three lines on the left side of the display and that's going to pull out a side menu and then you're going to look for your device and tap on it. So in this case, we are looking for my watch 5 Pro. We'll tap on that, take some moment there and then that side menu will move out of the screen. We can then look for the option titled watch faces and we'll tap on that. Now this opens up a new page of our watch faces and available watch faces. So if we move the camera around here a little bit, you're going to see that we have our first row that's going to be titled favorites. And you're going to see that we have that first option. It looks like there is an F logo there. Now underneath this, we have the option customize. And if we tap on that, this is going to open up the Facer app. Now this is an app you would have to download from the Google Play Store. It offers watch faces. Another app that's comparable is Watchmaker. That being said, since this option was in my favorites, the watch face that I'm actually using is from this app. Now, as you can expect, these apps do have in-app purchases. So watch faces are going to vary from free to a few dollars. You can see we have some that are $1.99. And then there are also bundles. So you can see we have a bundle here, $20 for $8.99. So returning to the wearable app, switching watch faces is going to be quick and easy. We'll just scroll to the watch face that we're interested in and then we'll tap on it. You'll see we get this loading icon and this installs to the Watch 5 Pro that I have really quick here. You can see that load icon didn't stay on all that long. Now we can also customize our favorite section slightly by tapping on manage on the right side of the display and that's going to open up a new page. Now we can organize all our watch faces with a drop down menu. You can see that it's going to be titled most recent first. So I'm going to tap on that. That's going to open that drop down menu and we can organize by obviously most recent first or name those are self explanatory, but I'm going to select custom for this video. And what this allows us to do is to manually organize these watch faces. Now on the same page, we can also remove watch faces that we don't want by tapping on that red line that's in the corner of each watch face. So we'll do this with the pro analog option, tap on that line and it did a little load in animation and it went away. We can then back out of this page by tapping on the arrow in the top left hand corner. And that brings us to the previous page. Now there is good news. Now, as you've seen in the beginning of this video, and as you can see now, we have that Facer logo there, which means that I do have the Facer app installed. But you don't have to install a watch face app like Facer or Watchmaker because we have plenty of options provided here and they are going to be free. Now, if you do want to look into options that are going to be outside of the app, once you scroll down to the bottom, those options are listed there and they also include prices conveniently. But what I would say is just experiment with what we have here. You can see that we have a lot of categories that will hopefully fit your style and play around with those, see how you feel about them. And if they don't cut it for you, you can move on to other apps and find a watch face that you would like. But as for what I would recommend getting started, my favorites are going to be informative. Health is good if you're into working out. Simple is great if you're a minimalist. Basic kind of goes along those lines. And that's pretty much it. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now, there are three ways you can support the content. 
The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way to show your support is just by sharing this video with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way to show your support is just by clicking the subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important because those are ways to vote on whether you like the content. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching, and listening to. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time... Leon, check in out.